Hello YouTubers and welcome to yet another brewery showcase and this is actually Brother Rockmill Showcase 2.0 because we already did a showcase on these guys. Yeah, and we won't. Yeah, where we tried their very first beers that they released in bottles. Now Lucas from Rockmill was very kind to send out some of their new beers and you might have seen that they won in a standard review their attempt at a juicy juice bomb IPA. But uh, these are some more of them that we thought we would grouped together in another brewery showcase. So, uh, new uh, series of beers with uh, awesome artwork as the previous ones as well. I mean, the artwork so far on these beers has been amazing, but these are uh, maybe more of a mix of styles. Well, it was a mix for Last time was a, no, American Ale, Golden Ale, and a Saison. Okay, then. Something like that. And th yeah. But this time around, we got an American Pale Ale, Coffee Black IPA, and Coffee Oatmeal Stout. So a bit more of a mix of style. So we got the Maverick American Pale Ale, or Maverick, and uh, Mystery Coffee Black IPA, and Coffee Cat Oatmeal Coffee Stout. And uh, yeah, interesting selection of beers. And Lucas was kind enough to send some info on the beers, of course. Mm -hmm. so thanks a ton to Lucas. And uh, yeah, well, let's start off with the American Pale Ale, Maverick, Maverick, uh, because... It's the lowest ABD and it's a pale ale. The other ones are dark beers. So Maverick is an American pale ale, 4.7%. Hops are Citra, Mosaic, and Simcoe. And they added, added lactose and fresh lemon juice to it. Okay, I didn't expect mm. that. <laughs> I, I read this once a little while back, but wow, okay. That's quite different for a pale ale, actually. Yeah. Lactose and lemon juice. It pours a, well, pale. Yellow color, it looks like a pale ale. Yeah. Hazy, white head to it. That's pretty much it, like straw yellow. Mm -hmm. Let's check out the aroma on Maverick Pale Ale with lemon and lemon juice and juice and uh, lactose. Oh yeah, lemon. <laughs> yeah. Lemon juice and citra hops are shining through. Oh, so that the um, orangey the tropical, tropical thing. Yeah, yeah, that's the citra. Okay. Mosaic gives off too, and Simcoe can also what as well as slightly, but Simcoe is often more dankness mm. and like really, yeah. Well, it's known for being really dank, but yeah, yeah it's mostly tropical. a blend of citrus. Fruit. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, yeah. It. I think so too. Not so tropical, mostly like really citrus fruit forward, but it smells nice. Yeah, it's got like a dry, you know, crackery, dusty malt thing to it, but it smells nice. Let's give it a taste. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. And thanks for looking for the beers. Yeah. Lemony. Really, it reminds me a bit of lemon iced tea. Lemon iced tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Like Lipton's lemon iced tea. Mm. Yeah. I'm not getting too much mm. of the lactose. There's a little bit of a lactic milkiness in there, maybe, for the mouthfeel, like a light medium. But it's I, I, it reminds me a lot of the uh, American Ale from the previous series. Yeah. I can't remember the name of it, but I think it's similar, just yeah. with maybe more hop. Well, you definitely get that. There's and a lemony. fresh lemon, lemon juice. juice. Yeah, it's quite this. lemony. Yeah. Um, it's just not a mind blower. I just think it's a nice pale no, ale with like yeah. a little different tweak twist on it. So let's try and move on to the black IPA then. So this is mystery. I love the kind of Sherwin Combs esque uh, Black Panther on that label. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's really awesome. But a black coffee IPA. So I think black IPAs can be really nice. But there's one in my mind that really stands out that was made with coffee, which was black malts and body salts by Toulouse, which was an imperial black coffee IPA or black IPA with coffee. Sorry, it was fucking awesome. So, if it's gonna be anything like that, that'd be great. It's a seven percent coffee IPA, a black IPA, that is hopped with uh, citric chinook and Simcoe hops. So same as Maverick, actually. No, that was Mosaic. So uh, Simcoe citric chinook, and then Johan and Nuström bourbon jungle coffee. We got the coffee black IPA mystery, right? Yeah. Poured and, and well. Kind of blackish, brownish. I mean, yeah. the thing is, well, if you want to like in my mind, if you want to make a true black IPA, it tastes it has to taste like an IPA, 
mm-hmm. but just be black in color. Some yeah. people often it ends up being just hoppy stumps, but this kind of I mean it looks blackish. Doesn't yeah. look like as it's gonna have a ton of black malt flavor, and then a beige head. But let's check out the aroma. It's cooler color. Yeah, kind of. Let's check out the aroma mystery. Yeah, coffee. <laughs> yes, nice. <laughs> really nice coffee aroma. Yeah, it smells really nice. Coffee and like le- again like a lemony quality to it. I don't think so. A little bit, I think. To be honest, I only coffee. get roasted coffee. It's it's That's very. It, uh, it smells like a cold brew cup of coffee. Mm. Cold brew coffee. Mm, let's try it. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> coffee. That <laughs> is a shit ton of coffee. Mm. Holy shit, that's a lot of coffee. This is like this is tastes like drinking cold brew coffee. This does not taste like beer. Yeah. This tastes like straight cold brew coffee. And it's seven percent. Yeah, to me this is only coffee. All the way through. I am getting some hoppy flavor though, some grassy, yeah. citrusy, lemony hoppy notes. Um, but damn, the coffee flavor is really nice though. Yeah, this is nice. Like really nice flavor. Yeah, very very uh, soothing mouthfeel as well. Mm-hmm. Mouthfeel on this was medium, I'd say. Mm. Slightly silky. This is the same, pretty much. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more silky, but the hops don't stand, stand out as much. The, the coffee is really there and in your face, Very so it kind of sh- overshadows mm-hmm. it, but the hot flavors are there. Are pithy and lemony and limey, maybe. Um, just the, the peel of the citrus fruits. So moving on to Coffee Cat, the oatmeal coffee stout uh, on 6.5%. So we actually jumped down a bit in the BB, but I thought we should do this last because it's a stout. Yeah, it's the heaviest. Uh, the, the heaviest. So... This one is uh, uh, oatmeal coffee stout hopped with Chinook and Simcoe hops, and then they also use lactose in here. And oh yeah, it's the same. It's the Bourbon Jungle Coffee in this one too. Okay. So uh, yeah, that sounds interesting. And here on the label on this one though, it also says Coffee Desk. So I wonder if that's like a coffee company or something like that. Yeah, it might be. Coffee shop. But coffee lact so like a milk. So lactose as well, it says oatmeal stout, so I guess it's the like a milk stout with oatmeal or uh, oats as well and coffee. That sounds nice. nice. Yeah. So yeah, a black colored beer in the glass. Yeah, it's pitch black. Yeah, pretty much. Um, kind of a nice beige head to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The aroma on coffee cat. Not as much coffee. Actually, you got more coffee on, on the white IPA. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting more of the oatmeal, like that sweet yeah. oaty character. Nice sweet oat and the almost like a vanilla note. Yeah. Yeah. Oatmeal. Yeah. You, you you get the coffee after a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it it was more popping on the black IPA though. Mm. But yeah. Yeah. Maybe a bit of caramel or something like that. Let's try it. Yeah. Cheers. I'm getting a bit of diastole thing yeah. on this one. Yeah, me too. It's like a slight buttery note. It's, it's not bad beers or anything, mm. per se. And stout diastole can be a bit okay, I guess. But for the ratings I've seen on these beers, I'm sorry, Lucas, I just do not agree. Some of these have gotten so high ratings. I think they're nice enough beers, but for me, all of these are like in the 80s. Uh, it's got a cop like the best one for me is the black IPA, even though it's tasting more like a straight cup of <laughs> cold brew coffee. Uh, but of all the ones I've had so far, it's Juicy Delight that's best. That's the best beer they've done so that's far. That's this one, right? No, Juicy Delight is not one of these. It's a separate beer. And I said, okay. You haven't tried yeah. that one. Okay. But Anyways, of these beers, I think that's the mm-hmm. best. Uh, definitely. It's got um, that oat oaty sweetness, mm. and it's. Like a nice OT yeah. creaminess to it, uh, a hint of that yeah, the lactose sweetness, oatmeal sweetness. It can be you know mixed up, but I kind of wish for more coffee flavor maybe. Yeah, the coffee flavor is kind of dull, um, and then a bit of toasty, bready, malty flavor maybe. Kind of tastes a little bit charred. 
Yeah, yeah, charred, uh, charred multi-disc. So I'd say like 85 on the black IPA, 83 on the stout, and, and 82 on the pale ale. They're nice enough beers. They're not bad beers at all, but they're just not as popping. And I've seen people lose their shit over these beers, which I just... Really? Uh, or not lose their shit, but according to their grades, like a 4.5, which is like a 95, 96. Mm. I've seen people rate some of these beers like that. I think it's quite high. I know they're a new brewery, and I'm, it sounds like I'm giving them a shit. It's actually decent beers. It's nice beers. But I just think, like, I don't know. I, I think there was a point to my saying in the Juicy Delight review mm. with some of the Polish beer re rating people just going a bit crazy with the ratings. Yeah, I'm... I'm gonna going to go um, eighty six on this one. <sighs> yeah, eighty two on this and seventy eight on this. Mm. Um, I, not I, to be honest, I think the diacetyl in this one is is more outspoken. But I, I don't I don't think this really has diacetyl though. I think it does. Mm. But again, one hundred percent honest. Mm. That's what we gotta do, you know. Um, I mean, so far, I'd say again, the juicy, the. What is it, juicy? What no, juicy? The, was it juicy delight? The New England style IPA is the best one that, for them so far. Uh, I still have one more beer that Lucas sent, which was like a collab, which is an imperial salty caramel or sea salt something stout. Sounds really nice. But so far, I think they like a bit of oomph on the flavors. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know, they don't have too many complex yeast notes, so I don't know. It's just a guess. Some people talked a bit about it in the comments, but I'm guessing they use like USO5, SO4, S04, uh, these, these dry yeasts. Not that they're bad yeasts, but they're just not, they do, usually don't create as complex beers. But I still think they're decent beers. I think they're worth a go uh, if you're based in Poland, but don't expect something to blow your mind. No. Just expect some nicely well brewed beers with some decent flavors that are just, uh, you know, nice and drinkable stuff what I'd say so yeah nice enjoyable beers but again with it when I saw like some of the ratings on these they're very high compared to what you know I expected you know when you see a high grade online you expect okay this is gonna be fucking a 99 on like so, so I can't remember if these have like that high grades but like the juicy light had a 99 out of 100 mm. in our best but I think um... but again Poland is also a young beer culture so you know with trying to yeah, yeah, it might just be and, and that style, of, but I don't know. I can I don't, know. Some of the I don't want to step on any toes. I feel like I stepped on a lot of toes in this video, but I don't want to step on any toes. I'm just saying my honest but opinion. It's, it's they're nice beers, it's but they're not. It's a matter of taste as well. I yeah, mean, true. Say, taste you, uh, if, if you take a look at, at the, let's say, my dad's generation, right? Most of the beers I like, he would say, that's not even beer. He don't like it. It's uh, t the, it tastes too strong or something, right? Yeah. Whereas these, he would probably enjoy. Yeah, I think these are complex yet mellow. For mm. some, like yeah, like they got some nice complexities, but they they got that kind of mellow vibe a bit. They're not they're not, they're not popping as much. No, but still nice enough beers. But I hope you guys enjoyed the honest honest thoughts in this brewery showcase. And as always, honest. That's how you gotta do this stuff. Thanks a ton to Lucas still for sending this one. It's still really awesome to follow your brewery and what's going on and uh, looking forward to see what will happen with you guys and your newer batches in the future. So uh, if you guys had any of these Rocker Rockwell beers, please let us know what you thought of them. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and comment and subscribe and all that social media jazz. And uh, yeah, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> and we're going to say cheers. Which one to decide? Let's go for the Black IPA. Yeah. I'm going to say cheers and see you guys in another brewery showcase, beer review type video. Cheers, guys.